Born out of sustainability and built on enhanced quality, Prime Inc. recognized the unique opportunity to bring the fleet's retreading needs in-house and establish Eco Tire Treading Company in 2013. Starting with a detailed inspection process, each tire is thoroughly examined both inside and out. A series of electrically charged chains and wires are positioned to skim the tire's inner liner and catch even the smallest defects that could otherwise lead to air migration. Once the physical inspection process has been completed, the tire must now be inspected internally where the human eyes cannot see. For this, a highly specialized machine uses a combination of vacuum, lasers, and cameras to examine the inner belt structures. Separations within these structures are identified and tires possessing these defects are rejected from process. Out of the 55,000 tires that enter the facility annually, only about 75% of those tires are deemed acceptable for refurbishment. This ensures that only the best suited tire casings are refurbished into once again high quality usable tires. Tires that have passed the various stages of inspection are now fitted to one of two very precise tire buffers. Important to the bonding and carrying process later, very specific parameters and measurements must be met here. A deviation here of even 2 seconds of an inch can be the difference of a tire completing the remanufacturing process or being rejected from service. A finished surface texture is achieved for maximum adhesion of the new tread rubber compound that will be added later in the process. Too smooth of a texture will lower the surface area available to bond with, and too rough of a texture can increase the possibility of trapping air during rubber extrusion. On average, about 20 pounds of rubber is removed from the tread area of the tire during this buffing process. Road debris such as rocks, nails, and other foreign objects can often penetrate the tread rubber of a tire. If these penetrations make it into the casing's belt structure, a manual skiving process is necessary to clean up these damaged steel belts and cut them back until they are encapsulated with rubber and damage free. Exposed steel creates rust, which must also be removed to ensure the tires are clean and free of contamination before new rubber is applied. Now that the tire has been thoroughly inspected, buffed to exact dimensions, and has no structural voids, the rebuilding of the tread can finally begin. The first task in building is manually inspecting and filling the sky spots with handheld extruder guns. This brings those recessed areas back to surface level where air pockets cannot be trapped below the tread rubber. After this, a layer of high tack rubber is wrapped around the buff surface of the tire at a thickness of 1 to 1 and a half 30 seconds of an inch. This rubber compound aids in adhesion of the tire casing and seals off the buffed area from rubber oxidation. For our tread builder, a strip winding method is used. This is a high precision method that achieves very tight build tolerances. Once again, if the tire is built even 2 seconds of an inch too large in diameter, the risk of the casing buckling during pressing is elevated greatly. This would render the casing unusable. Likewise, a build profile that is too small can leave the tread pattern with blemishes and voids, and therefore must be redone. Precision building is highly important. As the curing process begins, an internal bladder is inflated inside the tire to 220 PSI. This ensures the casing maintains its original shape and size for the duration of the cure. Based on the rubber compound properties, 
and factoring in temperature and pressure, a target time is calculated, and these tires remain in the presses until the optimal cure is achieved. As per regulatory requirements, our tread rubber has been specially formulated to have a low rolling resistance and is certified as a smart way remanufactured tire. This means our tires require less energy from the truck to travel down the highway. This results in boosted fuel economy and a further reduction in the consumption of fuel. Finally, all tires that have completed the process are once again inspected to ensure the process steps have been successfully achieved. After verification, the sidewalls are sprayed with a latex tire paint for aesthetic purposes. Once the paint has dried, the tires are now returned to the fleet and placed back onto units and returned to service. An average of 1.1 million pounds of rubber is used in production on an annual basis to build Prime's custom mold super single trailer tires. A remanufactured tire saves about 15 gallons of oil per tire compared to purchasing new tires. Prime's retreading program lessens the environmental impact by more than 435,000 gallons of oil each year.